Tonight, disturbing details on the troubled life of 36-year-old Kelvin Smith, the man behind yesterday's four-hour-long standoff that brought downtown Buffalo to a standstill. Tonight, who is Kelvin Smith and what caused him to hold three people hostage inside of a Queen City pawn shop? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin speaking exclusively to his family and his neighbor tonight. Keith and Joanna, we spoke to Calvin Smith's family today. They did not want to go on camera, but they tell me that they are also wondering what went wrong with Calvin. It is clear from everyone we've spoken to today, from police to his former neighbors, that Calvin was likely battling mental issues and went over the edge when his girlfriend left him. Today, Metro Loan Pawn Brokers on Broadway closed. Inside, people wearing specialized clothing, cleaning the crime scene. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy. Longtime customers shocked at what happened inside the popular pawn shop yesterday. A four hour standoff with a gunman inside, holding three employees hostage. One employee, Cameron Schmidt, took this selfie and posted it to Facebook during the ordeal. All three workers eventually escaped unharmed, but the gunman, 36 year old Calvin Smith, would not surrender, instead, taking his own life with one shot. He was always a little bit like out there. You know, like he was like off the wall a lot. Several years ago, Smith moved from this Buffalo home on Walden Avenue where his uncle still lives. His uncle says he lost contact with Smith after he moved out. But we learned Smith had been living here in Depew with his girlfriend and their young son for the past few years. Don Sanger was their neighbor. And I would hear like a bunch of hollering all the time on and off. Like they, they would argue all the time. In fact, Depew police say they made numerous visits to the couple's home, but more more recently, things seem to escalate. I heard that he um, had her tied up at one time, like with you know tape on her mouth there, and had her held hostage. It appears Smith's girlfriend had had enough. Police say on Friday and Saturday, she requested a police escort to remove her belongings from the home and filed a restraining order against Smith on Monday. But after searching for Smith to serve him the papers, officers couldn't find him and were stunned by yesterday's tragic turn of events. He seemed like he was, uh, you know, very emotional. He had like a, you know, kind of like a topsy turvy emotional, you know, thing. And Smith's family tells me he was once in the Air Force and also worked in the past as a dental hygienist. They say he also had two teenage daughters with his former wife and also a one son with his girlfriend. The Depew police chief knew Smith as well and described him as a very nice man, but also said that he struggled with mental health problems. Keith. All right, thanks, Kendra. Here's